Alright, so this go is going to be a little bit different. This is still going to be a drawing video, uh, but rather than having music in the background and it just being a little quick three minute video or so, um, I'm actually going to be discussing uh, a topic that I uh, quite enjoy and it's going to be slightly Halloween theme and the topic at hand is going to be Don't Starve Together which is a really fun game. If you don't play Don't Starve Together that's rather unfortunate but you can still enjoy the drawing video anyways. I'll put a time link in the description below if you want to skip all the jibber jabber about the game you don't care about. Although I highly recommend looking into the game, playing it, it's pretty cool. Okay, so what I'm talking about today is the Halloween event for Don't Starve Together gave costume skins to several of the characters, but not all of the characters. I understood why that happened. They had a lot of stuff going on. They have a, a new beta test going on for a new game for their first player game. They're coming out with a new event for Don't Starve Together, so you know there's only so much time you can spend on costumes. And as I said, I totally understand that. But there's one character for Don't Starve Together that is exclusive to Don't Starve Together. And that character is Winona. And she is personally my favorite character. Now there's some controversy around that. Because when she came out, there was some hate. And still kind of is, which is kind of annoys me a little bit, but I kind of wanted her to have a costume. All the other characters had a costume based on their personality, backstory, or at least that's the way I interpreted it. So why don't we uh, go take a look at them now? Okay, so here we are at the character screen where you get to look at all the clothes. Checking out Wilson. Uh, Wilson is a scientist. He's uh, the first default character you get to play. And... Uh, Let's see, uh, where is it? There it is. So he's um, like a mad scientist here. Uh, that He's got like the goggles, he's got like the crazy hairdo, you can see his picture in the background where he's, you know, laughing maniacally and such. He's got, uh, once I find it, he's got like a cool a white, uh, white lab coat. And it uh, quite goes well with his character. Give you some time to kind of look at it there. He's got, you know, it still looks like Wilson. He's still got his fabulous hair. You know, waving, letting you see an up close of his gloves and everything. Uh, so let's go look at some other ones. Willow was another one. She's a pyromaniac. Um, but uh, her outfit was uh, inspired by um, Wednesday from the Adams family and I think that suits her fairly well because Wednesday was a bit of a masochist and that's sort of the in my opinion the inner um, driving force behind Willow because she's basically burning everything um, you know she's got like the heavy eyes in this you know don't really care about anything um, you know, I think it looks pretty good and it suits her fairly well. Uh, Alright, so the next one, Wendy. A lot of people don't really like this one uh, because of the hair being directly in the face. But I think it suits her fairly well because of her connection to her uh, sister who's dead. And it, she kind of looks like something out of a out of a horror movie that would include a... A ghost or something out of the ring um, you know it's it's very haunting in my opinion very oddly disturbing I don't know about the the dress the outfit that would go along with it I would have added a couple more tears or something but the actual head itself and the you know the dripping drooping flower yeah it lo she looks like she's something out of the ring or something Okay, next one. WX78. He is a robot. And I actually really like this one, even though I don't play this character too often. Because you're seeing his inside, so he's basically a robotic skeleton. So you see all the gears, you see all of the, the wires, and 
yeah, it's it's pretty cool. He's had some pretty cool skins in the past. I suppose it's one of the more interesting things you can do with him. I don't really have much else to say on this other than, you know, good color combination, interesting idea. Um, and yeah, uh, let's see who is the next. Oh, Weber. <laughs> he's a he's a timid, sweet little guy, and I love how they had him dress up as a punk. Gave him like an alter ego. Uh, gave him more self esteem in a way. Uh, I'm trying to remember his backstory. Uh, he was like a a science experiment or something like that. Um, but yeah, he even though he looks mean, he's actually quite a quite a sweet and timid kind of guy. Uh, yeah, you see his like his mohawk there and such, and his uh, pins and his piercings and got the mean face going on. Uh, and finally, uh, Wes. Now Wes is a mime. He does not speak, and he's actually one of the challenge characters. But he gets some really cool skins, and one of his special abilities is blowing up balloons. So here he has a clown costume, and that fits pretty well with his uh, balloon ability. Pardon my voice change. I won't be editing this one because I'm looking at the screen as I go. Uh, and I have a, a, an implant that changes my voice on occasion. But in any case, yeah, he doesn't look overly impressive, but I quite like it. But, uh, yeah, none of the other characters have one. Wolfgang, he's got nothing, you know, uh, you know, missing, nothing. Um, other characters, uh, Wickerbottom, one of the more popular characters. You know, she gets really interesting, really pretty skins, but nothing for Halloween this year. Nope, nothing. Uh, let's go back. Uh, Woody, he's, uh, he's a fun character with a fun backstory. Uh, but, uh, yeah, they couldn't, you know, they couldn't dress him up like a beaver or something like that. That would have been cool. Uh, Maxwell, another popular character. Um, you know, nothing, nothing, nothing. There's nothing there for him either. Um, let's see. Wigfrid. She's uh, one of the more eccentric characters who's always kind of playing dress up in a way. And it would have been really cool to see something, but there's nothing there for her either. Um, and finally, Winona. And as you can clearly see, there's nothing there for her. Now they do, um, you know. And actually, a lot of the skins for her, I don't really care for. Uh, she, They do offer uh, last year's Halloween outfit. Um, she dressed up as a grass gecko, which I don't really think suited her. There's the full costume there. Uh, hang on, let me take off the... Uh, there we go. Yeah, she dressed up as a grass gecko, which, you know, is kind of cool. Um, but, uh, I don't know. I just, you know, a lot of the characters got cooler stuff. So, yeah, that uh, that's, that's Winona there. So, I'm going to try drawing something uh, that would suit her a little bit better based on her backstory. So a big thing I like about Winona is her backstory and her personality. She's very blunt. She's very to the point. Uh, she used to work in a factory. She, you know, as an assembly line worker, she worked there until the place burned down. She's also Charlie's uh, sister. Um, but uh, I was reading and apparently before she worked at the, f at the factory, she worked as a coal miner. And she hated that job, but nonetheless, she did. Uh, so the timeline is a little bit vague, but if she worked as an assembly line worker, it was probably during approximately, you know, 30s or so, you know. But I'm going to go way back when and take some inspiration from, like, 
the steam engine times, the 1800s and such, and uh, look up some pictures um, and devise a costume based on that. So why don't I get started on the drawing now? Okay, so I finished the sketch and I'm starting to line and shade. I should probably get out of the way that, uh, though it's fairly obvious, I traced uh, Winona's sprite um, and built off of that. Just saved me some time and, uh, you know, get the proportions correct. I wasn't too worried about, you know, creating a masterpiece or anything like that. But anyways, I looked up some pictures of uh, coal miners back during you know, between the uh, 1800s and uh, 1930s or so, and uh, you know, they uh, they didn't have hard hats and such. They just wore basic cloth hats, uh, and uh, instead of uh, an, a battery-powered light, they would have um, a, a, um, a jar, a metal jar of gasoline or uh, some other kind of like uh, fluid with a really really thick wick in there and then they would light it and that's how they would see in the very very dark caves so I incorporated that into her head costume uh, so uh, but I didn't make it I'm not making it like real fire because that wouldn't make any sense because then she should be able to just continually have a light source I, I'm gonna make it uh, the sort of the spooky fire or um, yeah the dark basically uh, you probably notice the bird at her feet there um, coal miners would take canaries with them into the coal mines uh, so that uh, if toxic gas were to be admitted uh, they would be able to uh, detect it before they would die by having the bird die because the birds were able to breathe much faster and thus in, inhale the gas before they could. So now I'm coloring. Um, I, you know, I, I wasn't sure what color the suits that they used. They, uh, they would wear overalls, but then when they went in the mines, they would have these complete like onesies that they had over them. So I just used a basic navy blue, blue collar shirt kind of thing. Uh, I'm, I didn't make the, uh, the jar, uh, metal. I decided to make a glass just to kind of make it a little more artistic, give it a little more, I don't know, I I don't know if I regret that decision or not, but uh, nonetheless it's there. Uh, for her uh, iconic bandana, uh, rather than placing it on the head, I placed it on the body. Uh, in the canary, I just made it yellow just to kind of keep everything um, coherent blue red and yellow you know three primary colors tend to go good together uh, her hair I'm adding some more black to it so that it uh, it's not mostly white when I color it in and back and now for the finishing touch I am adding patches of soot all over her face because when the miners came out of the mine their face was just covered it was just black and you, you know, it, it was it was a dangerous job. Job like later on, it paid good money, but at the time, it was considered a, a poor man's job. All right, and here we have Winona, all sooted up and ready to go mining. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I don't just draw. Don't starve stuff. I also draw other things. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram or Facebook. I also have a Redbubble. All of these links will be placed below. Thank you so much. Uh, let me know what you thought of the video. Uh, this is kind of something new for me and I was a little nervous. Anyways, my name's Click Witch and I hope to see you again. Bye bye. Have a nice day and happy Halloween.